Is that good? Okay. Hello. What's up, guys? Um, it's been a while since we just sat down and chatted with you guys, so we're gonna I sit down and chat. I like doing it. Especially with everything that's happened since the move, and just in general, lots of life stuff. A lot so of stuff going on. This is what we're uh, working Fun with. Stuff. We're filming in front of our window, chair, and a box. So I always think that's funny that um, that's just kind of. <laughs> That's Here we are. How we roll. It's very casual, guys. It's as if you're sitting in this chair right across from us and we're just having a conversation. So yeah. I posted on Instagram asking you guys um, to ask us any questions that you have regarding our move or just life updates or family stuff. And uh, we're just I, I, I screenshotted them and I'm just gonna go in the order that I screenshotted them. So like there's, okay. like, there's no order to this. So we're not like trying to save like best questions for later or whatever. I'm just going in the order. Okay. And Savannah doesn't know what I screenshotted either, so I it'll know. always be fun to like hear. Yeah. You know, Okay, what's first? Okay, so what denomination are y'all and have y'all found a church yet? Oh, there, there's okay. a lot of questions asked if we, had, if we found a church yet. Yeah. Um, we're essentially non-denominational is probably the best way to put it. Um, we just want to go to a church that loves Jesus mm -hmm. and where um, we can get plugged into a good community um, and that our kids love. Yeah. And we're kind of grow. Like, we're kind of church hopping right now. There's one that we have found that we like a lot. We like all of them, but there's one that we really connected with. Um, Guys, and in then, Tennessee, there's so many freaking churches. There's like literally we, a church. Well, yeah, we want to try more stuff. <laughs> there's so many churches on every street corner. Yeah. Um, so we are we haven't found like our church home yet, but we do have but one that we like the most. But we for sure will find a church. Yeah. There's just so many. Uh, I thought this was an inter interesting question. How do y'all earn money? Just social media, YouTube? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And, and I'm sure it's an interesting question, especially people know yeah. that, that we moved here and, and just kind of in general. So, um, yes, most of the money that we make is is and has been from YouTube. And that's honestly been my personal favorite because the money just comes from AdSense, which means that the ads that play before video, you get paid for. Um, and I like it because we don't have to like ask people for money. We don't have to try and like sell product that we don't like believe in or, or like wherever it is, you know, with social media can get kind of weird, but I got love just making fun videos yeah. and you guys enjoying that and getting paid from that. Yeah. Then obviously there's brand deals that are like more direct and there's and a lot of really other ways. Hard, and we try really hard to work with brands that we actually really love and use. And if I'm being honest, so, at the beginning- That's why I feel like we don't do that many compared yeah. to others, you know? Yeah, like when we first started social media, you know, just being like at college and whatever, any company that would come to you and say, hey, we got money, you wanna talk about this? We'd be like, oh, heck yeah, are you kidding me? Like over the years we've learned like, oh, Let's be like a lot more wise with like what yeah. we promote and how we promote it. Yeah. Um, Make sure we really like what we're promoting. Yeah. So all that being said, we we almost never promote product now unless if we like have tested it out for first and genuinely like it. Yeah. How are the kids adjusting to the move? A lot of questions like that, but I'll let you talk about that. Um, they all love it. I think <sighs> Zeeland obviously hasn't even like realized what's happening. He's just having the best time ever. Posey. I would say just totally loves it. Yeah. Right? Everly totally loves it too. Um, I think the only thing with Everly is she is like missing her dance studio because obviously we took her from her dance studio and she's not really in her new dance studio quite yet because it's mid season. So right now I feel like she's missing like that studio feeling. But once she gets that, I feel like she'll be totally solid. She's but still she's, dancing. She's loving it and she's having so much fun. And actually, right now, the second she's in California, she's still dancing, yes. Dancing with her old studio. So she's still being able to see them and stuff. But yeah. it's, it's an adjustment, but yeah. I feel like it's, and I'm not just saying this, I really feel like it's going about as good as it can go. Oh, totally. You know what I mean? Everyone is really loving it. Nobody is like, I miss California. Nobody's having a hard time. Like there were a lot of questions and I didn't even screenshot it, but just about like, like your favorite thing and least favorite thing about the move. And yeah. it was honestly hard for me to think about it like a least favorite thing. Yeah. As silly as that sounds. I just feel like we're all adjusting as well it's as It's been a big blessing so far. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you guys planning on having more kids anytime soon or down the road? I feel like I like, we talk about this all the time. I know, I feel like we always do. <laughs> so it'll just be really short. It's kind of boring, but I would like one more kid. I feel like Cole probably would be good with the four that we have, but. I'd be good with the four that we have, and if God wants to give us one more. Yeah. And my wife really wants us to have one more. I would love one more. I feel like. But I'll right now, but right now, great we are with content with four. Yeah. Right now, we're, right now we're really four. good with we're four, not and I'm not anything trying. Anything can happen because we love each other I don't a lot. even have baby fever. This is the first time I have zero baby fever at the moment. We're very content with where I'm we are in this life. I'm content with the floor right now, but I do know in the future I would like one more. Next question. Hardest things in a relationship and how to get over them? I don't like study and answer for this one. Hardest first. thing in a relationship? And how to get over it? Probably like... Hmm. I think I got mine. You got yours? You go find yours. So, and I don't, I don't know if this is like in a relationship. I mean, it, it is, but like, 
I would say parenting. And raising kids. Yeah. And, I'll, and honestly, that's all that we've known. I don't even know a relationship outside of having a kid because, you know, wherever I met you already had Everly. So maybe. So more like this is going for like people that have kids. Yeah. So not well, really a relationship. But but obviously, if you're, you know, if, if you ever want kids, then it's gonna be yeah. part of your relationship. Yeah. Um. So maybe maybe with us it's gonna be like difficult whenever we don't have kids because all that we know is kids, you know. But I would say in general, I think parenting, especially just from like friends that we have, mentors, everything, parenting and raising kids with somebody can be really hard because you have to raise them aligned. You gotta, you gotta be on the same team, and obviously I was raised a certain way, Savannah was raised a certain way, there's certain things that work in her life, that worked in my life, that are just different. So then you bring that into a new household and a new parenting thing, and, and like, we're very fortunate and very blessed that we really do see eye to eye on, I would say, 99% of things. Yeah. Which is, which is I, I think, pretty rare. I mean, I know so many relationships I, are very different, and they wanna raise this way, and they wanna raise this way, and then it's like, it's tough yeah. to get here. Yeah, you got so, it. Fortunately, and that's why you know the Bible talks about being equally yoked, and I really think on parenting. Compromise. Compromising, I would say, is a hard thing in a relationship. Compromising. Yeah. Coming together. Even, even to just like disciplining your kids, like how, how you want to go about disciplining them. Like if we, like we see eye to eye on that, but if we didn't, I could see like how that would be like such a yeah. hardship, you know? Yeah, that's good. Other than that, marriage is great. Yeah. You hear a lot of hard things about marriage. I know. It's great. But you got to work at it. You yeah. have to communicate. We don't know everything. Yeah. We're happy. That was good. All right, are you happy? I'm happy. Are you happy? Mm. Could be happier. Right. Could be happier. <laughs> Next question, let's see. How do y'all handle the stress of four kids so well? So it kind of went from my bad to this. We do pretty well. I would say I get stressed out more. Savannah does, Savannah genuinely does so well not getting stressed. In general, not just a kid, just in general. She's just not a stressful person. I can get stressed out about work stuff, about health stuff, Thanks, about Thanks honey, that's stuff. nice. So. How do we handle it so well? You do a good job. Well, I, I, I mean, and I think any parent. You do parent a great job does. for a father that is home lots of the time. Thank you. Especially. Yeah. I mean, we just love our kids more than anything. It sounds cheesy, cliche, and easy, but like, obviously life gets stressful. Yeah. But like, even like, we spend 24 seven with our kids. Obviously we get away from like date nights and like here and there, but like, we really do love every second with our kids. And then once 7.30 rolls around, we really are like, we're ready to put them in bed. We're yeah. like, we're ready to put them in bed because we love each other and we want to hang out with each other. Yeah. But then for real, once it's time to lay in bed by 10 o'clock, I'm like, look at pictures of them, like whatever videos we took that day, and I'm like, I miss them. You know, like I can't wait for the next day. So it's, it's one of those like bittersweet, yeah. not sure every parent can relate to that, but that didn't really answer the question. Yeah, but. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know how to answer that question. I feel like, like it could be stressful sometimes and then... A lot of the time, you kind of just have to just like roll with it. Yeah. Just life. Just four kids. roll with it. Oh, four kids. Four kids. <laughs> I kind of just explained to me so well. Uh, just roll with it. I don't know. I would say I'm big on like keeping my word with things. Like I'll be like, hey, if you keep doing that, then this is not happening later. And then you actually have to follow through with that. It, I feel like a good thing to say is like you do what works for your yeah. family. Will you guys ever start posting as much as you used to? Not here, because I think at one point we were doing like two or three videos a week. Whenever, again, remember it was just me, Savannah, and Everly. It was yeah. so easy just to like yeah. go for it. We got four kids now, and like Everly's dancing more, and we're kids. But we are doing the Cole and Ev channel. That was, I, yeah, I used this for a play. You guys, that channel was really fun. It's like the fun. videos are so cute. And me guys, and all the kids, like when they're premiering on Saturday mornings, we all sit and wait for them, and everyone gets so excited. We're premiering on Saturday mornings, and honestly, it's Everly cute. and I are having so much fun with these because we've yeah, been like Everly's family vlog and lifestyle things. For like a few years now, we haven't done like challenge and like big yeah. fun videos in a long time. Everybody likes these like legit videos. Like there's a videographer, there's something cool happening in every video, there's like fun things at the end. That, like, We've rented out like the Nissan Stadium, which is like where like the Titans play, mm -hmm. uh, like, like the water park down the street. Out. Guys, they so, like slept, they like uh, rented out a whole water park. We're linked down below. It's coming. Go but it's out. fun. It's fun, guys. Okay, this is a good question. It said, when will I let your kids date? I think I said, meant to say, when, when will you, when will you let your kids date? I feel like, I don't know. <sighs> I feel like I can't answer I think that yet. I think we might butt heads a little bit here whenever we cross that bridge. Well, not because I like want them to date, but I feel like you have to like, you can't be like so strict where they like are gonna go do it anyways and not tell you about it. Crushes at school, okay? I'm not gonna say too much, but like she'll tell me. And I'm like very open and we like laugh and joke and like have fun together talking about it. And I know it's like, Little and harmless and very. Guys, I'm not crying. I get sucked by the allergies here. But I want my kids always to like be able to feel like they can tell me about things and not me be like, you can't date him, and then they go do it without telling yeah. me. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So that's my whole thing. But 
but I do feel like like a real date where he like comes and picks her up and drives her to the movies. I don't know. I feel like that's older, like 16, 17. Yeah. That's when I'll feel comfortable with that. I feel like group settings of like hanging out with your the boy that you like, you know. I'm gonna 14. I'm gonna trust my wife a lot and let her lead a lot on that. Um, because she does she has I done know, guys. I don't know what she I'm has always about. done such a good job. I will probably have an unpopular opinion and I will be a little more, He'll be a lot more old fashioned and intimidate the guy. Um, I, with, I'm not very with, intimidating, with, so. With, <laughs> with, right. the, with the daughters, I, I want to let the guy know that I am a very involved father, yeah. that I love my daughters more than anything and nothing can happen to them. Yeah. With my son, I will raise him that you respect women and if I ever find out anything bad, then. Yeah. I feel like it'll, it could be like a kid to kid thing too, you know, just yeah. on maturity and... Some kids are more mature at different ages. So you can but I feel like 14. we also aren't capable of answering this question correctly at all. I don't know if parent is, we all are going to do different things, and we don't, we're not there yet. So. And we're, we're going to mess up whenever we do get there, yeah. so that's part of parenting. But okay. we're going to do our personal best. We will. And I'm sure you as a parent will do your best too, right? Yep. Okay, here we go. Why did you guys move? We mentioned, we, we, we brought we that up, but, but in case you missed it, you can just keep it really short if you want to. Well, so we're just closer to more family being in Tennessee. That's a big one too. More family this way, just in general. Slower pace of life. Mm-hmm. Um, values. Values, slower pace of life, like you said. Yeah. Big one, that was a big one for me too. I just, I love it here. I love it here. That's all, really. Do you regret moving? No. Hey, oh, wait, wait. can you add a little more suspense? suspense? I mean, oh. I do you regret moving? No. no. Ooh, this is a good one. That's why I, I probably should. What was the real reason y'all moved? The real reason? Should we tell them the real reason? We can't tell them the real reason. I don't right? know if they can tell them the real reason. I like that one's a little weird. Just kidding. Zeal still having seizures. We actually just brought this up by like a date yeah, the other day that it is almost June. No. Zeal had his first seizure like June, his first and, and only. He's had a couple fevers, no seizures. Several fevers, so, especially with his ear infections, mm -hmm. but so we're. But his ear tubes, for update on that too, have been working so amazing. He has had way. If your kid gets like constant barely fevers, any ear infections at all. I highly recommend the tubes. Yeah. It's been so good. Yeah. Um, I know there's the only one. Are you worried about Z's development and speech at his age right now? Not at all. No. I, I, I hear that question sometimes. Yeah. And he's not talking like as well as obviously Posey and Ev talked at that age. Yeah. But he's gotten so much better. I yeah. think, I think, and I think two things. One, he understands us so well. Dylan is super, super smart. Like, yeah. there's never been a time where we're like, uh, like he's just, he, he listens so well. He can, under, he can understand us. And his speech is developing. So like, yeah. he used to not be able to say anything. Now he can say things and he's only two. So it's like, he's still two. I'm like, give, give us well, a break. And I think what helped too is whenever I'll take him to like the park or something and like there's other boys, I, a lot of parents are like, oh, my boy didn't talk until he was like four. Like no worries. Like yeah. it's just super common for boys to not talk as soon as girls do. So. Well, and this is side tangent, but I feel like people are so quick to like diagnose something mm -hmm. or like whatever it is. But I, I, I feel like you just gotta like kind of give it time and not like overthink it. Like he's two years old. Yeah. I mean, we had people in my family who literally didn't start like speaking like good until they're like five or six. I feel like, it, totally I feel like honestly though, by like three and a half, he wasn't like totally talking, which I feel like he's doing wonderful now. Yeah, he's, I'm, not, I'm not worried he's about doing that great. But if by like three and a half he's not like clearly, clearly talking, then maybe I would be like, oh, maybe we do some speech therapy or something. But right now he's still two and I'm just not worried about it. So you guys, because I didn't know the order, that that's it. It oh. just, it, it just, it's just over. Wow. So that's it. Um, we'll try and do more of these, but we do have just some fun vlogs coming up. We're gonna make sure that we keep doing family vlogs. Um, as things happen, you know, we don't, we aren't going to be like, we're going to post every Saturday or whatever it is. It's just kind of like as fun things happen or like we just happen to pick up the camera and film life, then we'll post those. Yeah. But we do, uh, especially Savannah is a lot better like Instagram stories and life updates there. So be sure to follow us, especially her on our Instagrams. I'll put them here somewhere on the screen uh, to keep up with us and follow us on the Colin Ebb YouTube channel because we are posting a lot more there as well. So yeah. um, we love y'all and that's it. Well. Should I turn the camera on? Probably. Get out.